Hi guys, so for this video I'll be using acrylic yarn in size 3 and knitting needles in size 5. So as usual I'll leave a long tail like this. I'll make a slip knot. So for this stitch we need to cast on multiples of 3 and I'm going to cast on 18. I cast it on on two needles is because I didn't want the stitches on the first row to be too tight sometimes you want them but not for this particular pattern so now that I cast it on 18 stitches I'm gonna pull one of these needles out so I'm gonna start by knitting the first stitch yarn over knit the next two stitches together 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 yarn over, knit the next two stitches together now we have only one stitch on our needle so we, we just knit the last stitch so this completes row one now for row two we'll turn our work around and basically we'll be repeating row one from now on so I'm gonna knit the next stitch yarn over, knit the next two stitches together yarn over, knit two stitches together yarn over, knit two stitches together yarn over 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 knit two stitches together now I only have one stitch on my needle so I'll just knit that last stitch so as you can see we are just repeating row 1 and same for row 3 we'll just repeat row 1 so I'll knit the first stitch yarn over knit the next two stitches together 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 now we only have one stitch left so we'll just knit that last stitch so for the pattern as I said before we repeat row one it's a very easy pattern and it looks awesome so for the pattern, we repeat row one, and after a few rows, our work will look like this. It looks very busy, but it's very easy to make. So that is all for today, guys, and thank you so much for watching.